Did you love Emily in Paris? Did you dream to be one of the characters of this TV show? Now you can! I will show you how to design the Emily in Paris poster and how to use your own photo so you can feel like one of the actors of this show. Let's get right into it! Step 1. Make the background. Open the original poster and duplicate it. Create a new layer. With eyedropper, find out the color of the original background and with paint bucket tool, fill the new layer. Now, make its opacity lower. Create a new layer and with polygon laser tool, copy the shape you see. After you create one shape, fill it with paint bucket tool with any color. Repeat this step 6 times. Make the opacity of the background 100% and go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. Do the same for the shapes layer. This is just a small detail. If you don't want to do it, it's fine. Step 2. Add text. I will leave in the description the font used and anything else you need for this poster. Open character from window and make some adjustment to your text. You can see on the screen my adjustments. Because I wanted to copy exactly the style of the title, I made again lower the background opacity. Tap here to see the settings for Emily. Here you can stop again to see the settings for the word in. And for Paris tap here. Now we will just copy now streaming Netflix making a selection with polygon laser tool and moving it over our poster. We could have made it by ourselves, but because this is just a poster just for your own fun, it's fine to do it like this. Remove around it with erase tool and make it brighter from image adjustments, brightness and contrast. Step 3. Eiffel Tower Photo I couldn't find the same picture from the poster, but we will use something similar. Go to Filter Blur, Lens Blur. Check my settings here. Create a new layer. Fill it with Paint Bucket Tool, in this case with pink. Choose as a blend mode hue. Click right, more visible and make some image adjustments. I decided to change the levels of the photo. Move it over the shapes layer. Click right, create clipping mask. Ctrl plus T and drag its corners to make it bigger. If your shapes have the same color as the color you use over the Eiffel Tower, you can also make the opacity lower. Change color balance from Image, Image Adjustments. Step 4. Add your photo. Select subject with quick selection and move yourself over the poster. Remove with your eyes tool around your body if it's necessary. Now duplicate your photo and move it a little bit so it will be like a shadow. Move the copy photo behind the original photo in the layer section. Click right, go to blending options and check color overlay. 
Choose a light pink if the color of your shapes is a pink. Now click right, create clipping mask. Step 5. Add your name. Now write each letter from your name and move them just the way it looks in the poster. As a final touch, if you want, you can add some brightness and contrast to your photo from image image adjustments. But wait a second, I have a bonus for you. How to change the colors. I will show you real quick the process. I select my text and change it to green. And for the Eiffel Tower photo, I go to Image Image Adjustments Hue Saturation and I try to obtain a green. Also, I have to change the color overlay. And that's it, you are now an Emily in Paris character. Check my channel for more Photoshop tutorials.